Hello, I'd like to welcome you to Windy Hill Kennel. So you're looking at puppies, I take it, or you probably wouldn't be on this site. So if you are searching for a, a new member of your family, I decided to do a video for people that are looking because I get so many questions over and over, phone calls, emails. So I have a list of my most asked questions about a litter when people are looking. So I thought maybe this would help you out, and save you calling me and asking me questions, which I don't mind at all. But these are simple questions. But there's, if there's more in-depth questions you have, absolutely call me whenever you'd like. Shoot me a text. Don't email me. I'll get back to you much quicker by either text or phone call. Uh, the phone number that's on the website is my cell phone. So if I don't answer, it's usually I'm running a weed eater. Like yesterday, we were chasing cows that were in the cornfield. So and I turned my, I didn't even hear my phone. It was just too noisy. So you'll always reach me by text or phone. So let's get started. So the litter you're looking at uh, below this video, if there is a waiting list on these puppies, we will go through the waiting list in the order they're on the waiting list. So. Um, I'll call each person on that list, let them know it's their turn for a pick of the litter. If there is nothing in the litter you want, you are more than welcome to say, you know, I don't think you've got the right color, the right sex, or whatever you're looking for. Can I just have my deposit back? Absolutely. I do not cash deposits um, or run charge cards until you take a pick. Once you take a pick, then absolutely I go ahead and deposit your check, run your charge card, and that puppy is yours. Um, so there's a couple things if you do, uh, if you want to wait till the lists are done to see if, you know, what's available. Once I do the last person in the list, then I will go in and I will put above every single photo, this puppy is available. I'll tell the microchip number, I'll tell what sex the puppy is, what color it is. All the puppies that are sold as they come off this litter are going to be moved to the puppies that are sold page under the mother's name on the sold page. So it kind of simplifies it for you, makes it a little bit easier for you to understand what's available and what's not available. Um, a couple other things about this litter. Tails and dew claws were done at birth. I should say three days after birth. Um, a lot of people ask me, oh, I want a long-tailed schnoodle. Well, that's great, but you have to be the first person on the list. Otherwise, I would have to make those people ahead of you pick their puppy by the third day and sometimes they don't want to do that until they're about a week or ten days old um, somewhere in that ballpark. A lot of times once I put individual photos on of each puppy, those puppies are picked and go home. So if you're looking at a list that was just born and there's nothing there but a group picture of all the puppies in the litter, that means I haven't taken the individual photos yet. No one has taken a pick and once I take the individual photos, then you'll be able to start taking your picks. Um, so that's a little bit about that and the sold page. There is a link at the top. Once you do pick a puppy from this litter, up at the top above me, there's a link that says puppy contracts for puppy buyers, I think it is. I should have looked at it before I got done. But there's two contracts on there. One is if you're shipping your puppy. The other one is if you're going to be picking up your puppy. So you'll just have to pick the appropriate one for you. Yes, I do ship puppies. I ship nation, nationwide. I do not ship out of the country. Um, shipping is not what people think it is. It's truly not. Your puppy is taken care of better than grandchildren that you would send to the grandparents' house on a plane. Uh, federal law regulates that dogs cannot be drugged. You cannot give them any kind of sedative. And if your puppy is well socialized before it goes to you, that flight is not going to bother that puppy whatsoever. Um, we ship out in the morning, you receive the puppy in the afternoon, depending on the area of the country you're in, it would either be early afternoon or maybe up into early evening. Um, I ship American, Delta, and United. Uh, United gets a little fussy in the summertime. Um, in the heat of the summer like this year, yes, we have to ship United. Uh, United does cost a little bit more to ship on because they are more expensive uh, because I think they do a premium because of the heat um, issue. But all puppies are kept in the plane in an air-conditioned, climate-controlled area. The crates are strapped in. They cannot bounce all over the plane. 
and I have never in all the years we've shipped ever had an issue um, or anybody get hurt ill on a plane or anything else yeah I've had a plane a couple puppies miss a flight and uh, they'll miss a connection and it's really not life you know people think oh my gosh they missed their flight you know what they take care of them so well at the station that they're at uh, they're put on the next flight available if your dog misses a flight and has to stay overnight which rarely ever happens they are required to kennel it for the night in a kennel out of the crate and uh, have it checked in the morning before it leaves and there's never been an issue and like I said that's only happened maybe twice okay brands of dog food people ask me what I feed so at the bottom of this page under the puppies photos and under the information of everything that comes with your puppy there is a picture of our dog food uh, we feed a high it's called high standard it's a 30 20 meaning 30 percent protein 20 percent fat uh, and I feed free choice which means I never take their dog food away they eat 24 hours a day no they don't overeat they only eat little tiny picks and pieces when they um, are eating um, the other big thing is when you come here to visit when you come to pick up your puppy if you call me and say, oh, can we come see our puppy in person? We really want to see it and, and hold it and, you know, I, I'm sorry. You're welcome to come. You are always welcome to come and see the puppies. You cannot pick them up. You cannot hold them. You cannot pet the mom. You cannot pet the dad. There's too big of a chance of bringing disease into the kennel. I've had that happen twice. It's not fun. Um, the last time it happened was about four years ago. Uh, some people held their puppy. It was Christmas time and they lived local. We'd let them come every week to see the dog. And they had been to a pet shop, picked the puppies up, played with them there, and then came to our house. Three days after they were here, their dog had parvo. We ended up losing another dog in the litter. Uh, cost us about $4,000. And we had to take every kennel out of our building. We had to power wash it out in the middle of winter with Clorox and steam it. You don't want Parvo. I don't want you to bring it to me. You don't realize how easily it is to catch. Um, in fact, when you get your puppy, you'll get a sheet from us and we'll talk to you about Parvo. And you don't want to have puppy play dates. You do not want to do a puppy socialization class until you get your last puppy shot under your belt, which is about 14 to 16 weeks old. Um, yeah, probably 16 to 18 weeks old. It actually depends on where your vet's going to schedule you. Um, let me see what else have I got on my list oh if you're paying by credit card please note there is a 4% fee for credit card that's what they charge us we pass it on to the customer um, if you're picking up and you're from Iowa you still have to pay Ohio sales tax Ohio sales tax in our county is 7.25% so and that is on the purchase price of the puppy not the balance so oops about lost my list um, so kind of keep that in mind if you do paypal yes there is four percent fee for paypal so if you're paying through paypal on my website it will say 312 dollars the 12 dollars goes to paypal that's not mine so i only ask for a 300 dollar deposit fee uh, but the four percent is we already tacked on the four percent for paypal uh you're welcome to send a personal check-in for a deposit on a puppy that's absolutely fine we do not pick we do not cash it until you pick your puppy out. So just remember that. Uh, what else have I got on my list? I flipped this over this side. Oh, so a couple new things. Um, our website is fairly new within the last four months. I think it's, I'm on the deck. I think I'm getting showered by falling leaves um, or on the patio, I should say. Um, our Facebook page has changed uh, very little over the last few years, but our website has drastically changed. So, if you have never visited us before, if you know nothing about us, please go to our Facebook page. There's over 4,500 of our clients on there. You are more than welcome to ask anything about us you want. You can be very picky. You can say, what's their facility like? Are their puppies nice? Have you had any trouble with your puppy? Um, I mean, anything you want. That's why we put that forum there was for people that are looking because I know how scary the internet is. I really do. I bought puppies off the internet and I have been screwed down the proverbial pike on a couple of my purchases. Um, 
and it is scary on the internet. So I try and be as open door policy as I can. When you come here to visit, if you come to see puppies, if you come to pick up your puppy, and you'd like to see our, our kennel, please ask. Uh, we will be more than glad to take you through the kennel. We have no problem with that at all. We just gotta remember you can't pet dogs and you can't pet puppies. Uh, that's the only big thing. Uh, our website does have a new feature. You can post pictures of your dog. Um, so we have a client photo page now where you can actually post your own photos, upload them. You can upload 10 photos at a time. You do not have to resize them. It'll hold clear up to about a 5,000 pixel photo, which is a big photo. So anything you've shot on your cell phone absolutely loads up with no problem. Um, you can put any kind of comment you'd like about your dog. You also will be asked to give your email address and the mother's name. Uh, your email address will not be published on my website. It's just for me in case I want to contact you. Um, but the nice thing is, the new feature is, once we get enough people posting from each litter, you can type the mother's name in and it will bring up every puppy that she's ever had while she's here with us. So uh, we keep our dogs till about five years. Uh, they're retired. I do not sell our dogs to another kennel. And um, they're spayed and uh, neutered and they go to pet homes. Uh, oh golly, I can't think anything else. Um, oh, photos. I do photos every week of your puppy. Um, or I do a video every week of your dog or sometimes I do both if my life is normal and it's calm and not always is it calm uh, we try and do both each week I do stop photos at six weeks old puppies that hit six weeks old are incredibly insane to try and get them to hold still and sit on a table to take their pictures so I do not have enough coffee or I don't drink so I, I can't say I don't have enough stiff drinks but it's very frustrating to shoot pictures of a puppy after they're six weeks old but I do continue videos every week so you'll still see videos of your puppy up until I don't know eight and a half nine weeks old and uh, when they're picked up so um, other than that I know I've probably left something out that you guys ask me but that at least covers a lot of it uh, all our puppies are bathed every week Toenails are done every week. Um, we get them used to being groomed and handled. Uh, they're pretty much bulletproof when they go home. They are kept in the house with us from six weeks old until they go home without their mother. And the big thing we work on here is no bark, no bite, and no lick. And no, no bark does not mean they're not gonna tell you when someone comes to your door. Um, the biggest problem people have is they treat their puppies like babies. Uh, they're not strict with them when they're little, so they don't teach them good habits, family habits when they're little. So if you are not strict with this puppy when it's little, you're not going to have a, very much control of your dog when it's older. Uh, barking can be a problem depending on where you live. Barking is absolutely stoppable, but you have to work on it from the time they're little. Um, you can't decide four months old, oh my golly, the dog's barking too much, let's, you know. You gotta start when they're little. Whatever you don't want it to do as an adult, don't let it do it as a puppy. So, I hope some of this has helped. I hope it's answered some questions since you're looking on this page. Uh, and if you have questions, please do not hesitate to call me. I really don't mind, but I just wanted to make things a little easier when you're looking, because I know a lot of people don't read the information below uh, the photo. And I'll try and pick uh, the new, the YouTube videos will now go on our website. You don't have to go to YouTube. You still can if you want to. Uh, there's lots of old videos. So if you're looking at a mom that's been with us under five years, 10 to 1, there is a video of her last litter on our YouTube channel. If you search our YouTube channel by her name, um, we are starting to get into a rotation where we've retired a lot of girls. We've got some younger girls coming up. So, but some of these are on YouTube and uh, they're fun to go back and watch. You can see what past letters look like. And so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we really want to make this a user-friendly website. Any suggestions you have would be greatly appreciated. You're not gonna offend me. So feel free to email me uh, that, shoot me a text or give me a call, but make email the third thing you do. So have a great week, enjoy the website, and we hope to talk to you soon.